Hello everyone, I am Divyanshu Kumar and today I will be discussing a problem named the biggest restaurant. This was a question of Code Chef November 2019 cook-off. Okay, so let's start. The problem code was big R-E-E-S. In this question we were given that we have uh, n, n points and uh, we have n points and uh, on a, x axis x1, x2, xn and uh, we have n pillars h1 h2 of height each of height h1 h2 till hn and then the pillars are put randomly on points and so as to maximize the area s and we have to output twice of that area okay so what i mean by that is suppose we have points here x1 x2 x3 and x4 and we have height of pillars placed on them as h1 h2 h4 and h3 because they are placed in random order right so the the area and the roof is covered by a vertical lines okay then we have to maximize this sh shaded area so this was the question if you have not tried this question uh, tried this question yet i would suggest to pause the video try to solve it okay now i will start discussing the question uh, solution so what are the things required to solve this question first is uh, you should know the area of trapezium that is nothing but half into sum of parallel sides into height then you should know how to obtain maximum sum of products of two arrays uh, that I will explain later okay and basic mathematical skills of equation simplification and all right so let's just say this is the given figure and we have points x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 then what is the area of this figure the area of this figure is nothing and we have pillars of height h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 respectively okay then the area that will be nothing but area of this trapezium so you can see this is a trapezium right because we have here parallel sides 1 and 2 and the height is nothing but the base here okay that will be nothing but x2 minus x1 okay similarly uh, the total area will be sum of uh, all these four trapezium if you see here one two and then three let's just say and four okay these four trapeziums uh, area sum will be the equal to the total area so twi uh, sum of four trapeziums okay so and then twice of area what will be that that will be nothing but uh, two into uh, tra area of four trapeziums okay so if you if we see here right so 2 into uh, the half which we have in the formula that is half into sum of parallel sides sum of parallel sides into height height is nothing but uh, here width we, i can write i think width will be the better term here width okay so here half and half will get cancelled okay and then we will be left with sum of parallel sides into width for each each of the trapezium okay so that i can write as uh, let me just consider x2 minus x1 as d1 x3 minus x2 as d2 x4 minus x3 as d3 and then x5 minus x4 will be d4 okay so here i have uh, first one is d1 into h1 plus h2 okay because h1 is parallel side here h2 is parallel side here so I have h1 plus h2 into d1 plus similarly h2 plus h3 into d2 plus h3 plus h4 into d3 plus h4 plus h5 into d4 okay this uh, i hope this is pretty much clear because till here there is nothing much involved but if you see uh, then the next step the next step is a bit uh, that is that will lead us to the solution here if you see here h2 is repeated here twice with d1 and d2 okay h3 is repeated here uh, twice again with d2 and d3 so I will simplify this equation first I will write this equation here uh, in one line so as it is easier to understand h1 plus h2 into d1 
plus h2 plus h3 into d2 plus h3 plus h4 into d3 plus h4 plus h5 into d4 okay so and then i will take out h1 common h1 d1 h2 common d1 plus d2 then h3 common uh, d3 plus d2 okay then h4 common here we have d3 plus d4 okay and then h5 d4 okay so here if you see this is the total area uh, twice of s so twice of s equal to this much but if you see we have to maximize this in order to maximize this we have to maximize each of these individual terms each of them should be maximum now if you see here the height value uh, that uh, that i cannot change the consecutive difference sum that i cannot change but what i can change is the arrangement of those two so basically let's just say we have uh, d1 capital d1 equal to d1 capital d2 equal to d1 plus d2 then capital d3 equal to d2 plus d3 then capital d4 equal to d3 plus d4 okay and then capital d5 equal to small d5 because these are the terms right so then equation can be simply h1 capital d1 plus h2 capital d2 plus h3 capital d3 h4 capital d4 plus h5 capital d5 now if you see this equation this is nothing but uh, normal sum of product of two arrays let's just say i have a array of h where i have h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 and similarly array capital d here i have a like this and let's just say d as d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 so how i choose these elements that will result me in the maximum sum and that maximum sum is nothing but when we when we sort the two arrays so basically if i have to maximize uh, two terms th this product terms then a should be also maximum and b should be also maximum so the sum of the product of two maximum will result me in a max product product max let's just say so how to obtain these two from array h and array d so basically just that is very simple just sort the two arrays sort two arrays so basically after i have sorted here i will have here max 1 max 2 max 3 this in array a and similarly in uh, array h sorry and array d here also as max or d max 1 d max 2 d max 3 so basically if you see here if i multiply these two max terms i will get the maximum again these two the second maximum these three will result me the third maximum and that sum will be the uh, maximum sum i can ob uh, obtain as a product of two uh, arrays so basically that is nothing but obtaining maximum sum maximum sum from product of two arrays product of two arrays so this is not a very difficult concept but very easy one just multiplying the two max term will result in a biggest uh, multiple right so that is the simple factor involved here and then you have the multiplied as first uh, first max then second max and third max and their sum will be the maximum because you maximize each of the terms right because some if I have to maximize a series A plus B plus C, then I have to maximize all three of them, right? Because these are then individual terms. So if I maximize all these three, I will have a maximum sum S. So basically that was the concept here. If I, if I somehow get this D array, 
which consists d1 equal to d1, d1 plus d2, d2 plus d3, d3 plus d4 and d5 and then sort them right and h height and then sort them okay so basically and then i can just output the uh, maximum pro the sum of product of these two arrays because you see, if you see the equation here that is just simplified so basically that was the this is all of the question uh, we have uh, then you can easily solve this question that will result in the maximum area okay so let me just walk it through the code so basically here i have my code so basically i have the libraries okay i have defined lli as long long end then i am using fast io these are optional you can or it, it depends on you you can comment them also these are just basic uh, commands for fast io so as it does not get uh, stuck in input output only okay it does not waste much time i mean so basically and then i have defined here the number of test cases t and a variable i which i will be using later so i am taking input of test cases and i have de declared variables x previous x next that will be means like x previous point x next point okay and what is the answer and what is the difference of pre uh, d previous okay and then i have a array for height that i initialize to maximum value then i have a difference array and then a d array okay difference array is nothing but the small d and the this d is nothing but the capital d okay that will be equal to d1 and d1 plus d2 like this okay and i have n that is nothing but the length okay so basically i like defining the variables outside the test cases and so as i don't need to uh, again and again define them okay so that's why uh, and then for each of the test cases here okay this is nothing but for each of the test cases what i'm doing so i'm initializing x previous equal to zero because uh, the coordinate will start from zero right so basically just and then taking the length input x previous input and height of zero means first i'm just taking what is the first point here x1 okay and what is the height of the first block means like the height h1 may not be placed on x1 but just the input format was like that they have given x and h means like the input format what xi comma hi so i have to take both of these inputs simultaneously okay so that's why x previous and height of zero and d previous i initialize with zero so basically i will be just using the cumulative difference again and again to get my uh, cumulative sum i mean uh, of previous one and the next one here right if you see here d1 plus d2 is nothing but the previous one plus d2 okay so that so let's start how i have done that so uh, first element if you see i have n x i n h i right so firstly i took the directly the zeroth input right so i am starting from zero to n minus one because one element i already uh, it took the input okay i already had that input then for n minus 1 left elements i am taking input into x next okay and then i am taking input into height of i minus 1 i plus 1 sorry and then i am calculating difference as x next minus x previous that is nothing but x2 minus x1 okay d1 like this okay this will be nothing but d1 and d of 2 will be nothing but x3 minus x2 like this so basically x next minus x previous okay and then i am calculating uh, di equal to d previous plus difference of i so d previous means uh, d1 okay plus d2 so like this i am calculating the capital d here the capital d is like this okay d1 plus d2 and similarly d2 plus d3 and similarly like that okay and then uh, i have difference of uh, d previous equal to difference of i updating okay here the d previous was d1 then i have d previous as d2 then i will have d previous as d3 okay and then uh, this will go on okay and then x previous equal to x next just updation okay and then here i have dn minus 1 equal to dn minus 2 now why i have this if you go back to the equations you will see i have d1 as d1 and d5 as d5 means like i have two terms which are uh, which are basic uh, not the sum of two differences but single difference okay d1 and d5 others are just cumulative sum uh, till 
uh, I must say till here I have okay uh, yeah right so sorry okay so and then I have others as the normal sum okay so normal here it should be d4 my bad sorry because the last term here is d4 right so it should be d4 okay so and the uh, two terms are d1 and uh, d and minus 1 and other terms are the sum so if you see in the code here uh, sorry here right so if you see in the code here while the first iteration goes on okay the first iteration will be nothing but uh, d previous plus difference of i okay and d previous for that equation will be zero so i will have here uh, d1 okay and but for d n minus uh, 1 for that reason i have used this line i am just adding another uh, here i am adding d n minus 1 okay so in index terms it is 1 minus 1 because like uh, i am starting from 0 index that's why this is n minus 2 basically this is d n minus 1 and this is d1 okay so basically like that and then i am just sorting the uh, two arrays height and capital d okay and i am taking the answer equal to 0 uh, this is lli just in uh, reinitiating it to 0 then answer equal to answer plus height of i into d of i basically just multiplying the two maximum and second maximum and second maximum third max and third max similarly all all that so i am i am getting a maximum sum of product of two arrays okay so like that and then just uh, outputting the answer value here and that's all and then this continues for other test cases so i hope i explained the question well if you have any doubts do mention them in the comment section below uh, also do like the video subscribe to my channel and uh, do share this video comment right uh, and in case of any doubts feel free to uh, comment below okay thank you happy coding